Today I am really excited to show you what you can do with just one type of flower and a few plants and, you know, create something really magical to have in your house or share with friends. So what I did is I got just one bunch of tulips from the supermarket, okay? And I bought a caladium plant from the supermarket as well, thinking that, you know, some of you may have gardens, but some of you may not, and, and one great way to bring in um, plants and um, things that we typically find in gardens is to just buy the plant itself and cut from it, use it, stick it somewhere in your home, let it, um, you know, continue to grow and keep cutting from it. So I've got my caladium plant. Then I have a few pieces of lamb's ear. This is something that's growing all around my neighborhood. And in fact, I actually saw it um, on this, like growing on the sidewalk and um, almost like a weed. So I, I snipped a few little pieces of it myself. Um, I'm also gonna plant some in my garden, but uh, if you don't have, you know, things like this growing around uh, your, in your neighborhood or you don't have a friend who has a garden that you could snip a few uh, pieces of lamb's ear or something like this from, consider buying a second plant, okay? And, um, you know, spend a few bucks on it, cut from it, and then again, let it, um, you know, grow in your house or give it away, um, you know, but get what you, what you can from it um, to make your cool arrangement. So I've got my lamb's ear, I've got my caladium plant, and my beautiful tulips. So let me show you what I was thinking. I want to get three arrangements out of this, okay? Um, because I want to have, you know, one on my dining room table and, and one in the bathroom and one in the bedside table and just spread it out. So I think what I'm going to do is begin, I'm going to take three of my tulips. So I got 10 stems and um, I'm going to strip down the leaves that are sort of falling off. And I'm gonna save these, I'll show you because I, oops, now I just pulled that off of there, I'll use that as a shorter one. Um, I'm going to use these guys, you'll see. But for now, I just wanna sort of strip down these tulips. I'm gonna grab one other one, since I just uh, popped the bottom off of that one. And uh, set this aside, and now grasp these three in my hand, and cut them and put them right into the sort of simple base I have that I think I got at Ikea a long time ago um, and just showcase the shape of them and leave them in this simple way but I want to add at least one caladium stem here. So I'm just going to reach down in here, cut this off this doesn't hurt the plant. It's actually good for it to cut the larger pieces off and then the smaller ones can grow. So, um, you know, just use it though as a design element. So then I'm sticking it down into my base. At least one. Yeah, I like the look of that. And these are flying out to the side. Voila. Now the tulips will grow in water, okay? And you'll notice this, you'll have tulips and um, you know, you'll look at them two days later and they've grown an inch or so. Um, that's normal and just be prepared for that. So they'll grow out a little bit. I've got one more, one more beautiful palladium. I think this variety is called Pink Lady. It's really neat. And it's a tropical plant, the caladium, okay? So that's what's nice right now is um, since the summertime, all right, looking cool, I'm going to set this one aside. Um, you can keep it in your house, and if it's warm in your house, that's fine. You can also plant it outside, and um, it'll grow because it loves this weather. It's from um, South America. So, got the caladium plant here to the side. Got that one arrangement done. Now I want to focus on my larger one. So I have just a simple rectangular base. And what I started to do here was to you know, take the leaves off the bottom of these tulips. And I'm going to continue to do that. Pull them apart. They'll sort of curl off. 
One, they don't look so great, and then two, I want to use them in my base, so you'll see. All right, I think I've got enough of these ready. Then I'm just going to tuck them down inside my vase to add a cool design element here. Okay, and I love the lot sort of pale green color of these tulips um, leaves. I want to show them off. All right, and they look even cooler underwater, which is what's so fun. Great. All right, one more little piece. It's okay if it sort of curls up. That's fine. I like the way it looks. All right, so then I have, let's see, I'm going to have a bunch of these. I'm trying to decide how many I want to put in here. I think I'm going to go with the six and trim them down again. They're gonna grow, so I'm not worried. I don't want them too tall and flying out. They're also gonna turn towards the light, okay, which will be really nice. And I'm gonna start to just place them in here. And don't be afraid of the sort of floppy in the beginning. This happens with tulips. Okay, and they'll end up standing up and again turning towards the light and growing. This is a, a tulip phenomenon. It happens all the time. Now, these ones I got from the grocery store, they're probably a local source, maybe, still coming out of Pennsylvania. Or they came from Holland and it's almost over there, the tulip season. But they're really nice ones because they have, um, they're called bicolor, so a little bit of white on there. Okay, um, and a few different shades in here of purple, which I think is really nice, and that's why I chose them over the sort of just plain old straight colors. They looked a little more interesting. Now I'm going to take my lamb's ear, tuck it down into the arrangement. I love the silver feel. And I've got my tulips flying out. This guy is all the way over the side. Okay. And I'm just going to curl over any of these leaves that look a little floppy. And again, I'm being patient because I know these are going to pop back up. Now it's time for me to get my caladium plant and just do some cutting. This is fun. And again, don't be, don't be afraid. It's still going to grow. In fact, it's going to probably grow even more now that we've cut a little bit from it. Tucking down the leaves. Right, and any plant will work, okay? So don't, you know, um, just if you don't, if you can't find this plant, just pick out another one. Especially if you like the color or the look of it. These tropical plants are nice this time of year because it's warm and, you know, in the house and outside if you're going to plant them. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, pretty cool. Again, my tulips are all sort of flowing to one side, but they're going to stand up as I, you know, as they uh, open up here. But I actually even don't mind the look of that, and I love these colors all together. So now I'm going to set this one aside. And for my last arrangement here, I just have a simple bud base. And I've got a few little tiny bits of lamb's ear I'm going to tuck down into the vase. I have my last tulip, okay, number 10. I'm going to place this one down here. It's already starting to open up. It's incredible. Again, the season's almost over for these, but while they're still here and they're inexpensive, why not use them? Then I'm going to add a few of the smaller looking pieces of my palladium plant. Tuck it into the vase. And I'm so excited because I have my arrangements. I have my plant. <laughs> this is going to look good. The palladium's going to keep growing. You know, I, I got the lamb's ear, which was, you know, uh, a little sort of acting as a weed on the side of the, uh, of the road. Um, and so, you know, all in all, it's kind of a fun combination of um, creating and then also, you know, reusing and um, finding things in your local environment. So if you have pictures of things like this that you're making or that this um, post inspires you to do, please share it with me. I'd love to see it. Um, and if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy creating your own arrangements.